All right. This, oh, I can't stress the importance of these enough. So we need to know these. What we're going to go through now is some specific values and angles for sine, cosine, and tan that you have to memorize the values of, okay? Because in our exam, tech-free exams, you'll be expected to know sine, cosine, and tan of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, plus the 90s, 180s, 270s, and 360s, all right? A couple of ways we can remember. We can remember these two triangles, uh, on the next page is just a table of values. And if you remember, depending on who, there, if you Google um, exact values, uh, may even make it remembering. Um, there's a finger method that we can go over when I get back. Uh, which involves counting on your fingers, which I think the boys have used in the past to some success, all right? I, I guess, being old and silly, just remember the values now. Let's look at the triangles. What we've got here is an equilateral triangle, yeah? All three sides are the same, a two, two, two triangle. If we do a vertical line down it, that's 90 degrees. We know it's equilateral, so they're all 60 which means that angle there is 30 degrees. So if I bring this triangle out, one half of them out, it's 60, 30, that's two, that's one. From Pythagoras' theorem, I get two squared is equal to x squared plus one squared, which means x is equal to the square root of three. So this side here, is root 3. So now, if I work out what sine 60 degrees is, it's equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is root 3 on 2. Cos 60 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to a half. Tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is root 3 on 1, which is just root 3. So there's my 60 degree angles that I have to memorize. I do the same for 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees is equal to, well, there's 30 up there. So that's opposite over hypotenuse, which is a half. Cos 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 on 2. Tan 30 degrees is equal to um, opposite over adjacent, which is one on root three. So there's my 60 degrees and 30 degree angles. My 45s, if I just do a one, one triangle, so it's a isosceles triangle, and from Pythagoras' theorem, that length there is root two, which means in here, I can do tan of 45 degrees, it doesn't matter, is one over root two. Sorry, tan of 45 is opposite over adjacent, which is one over one. Sine of 45 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. And cos 45 degrees is the same, adjacent over hypotenuse. So they're the three sets of exact values that I have to remember, all right? So straight away in here, sine 30 degrees, I've just got to remember them, it's a half. Tan of 45 is one, cos of 60 is also a half, all right? So the, initially you're not gonna remember them, all right? Which is why I've got this table here. So either this table here or the diagram, I think, on the front of your booklet. So fill this table in. So I won't go back through it all. So if I just, um, let's leave it a bit bigger. So what are we going to have? We're going to have sine of 30 degrees is a half, cos of 30 degrees is root 3 on 2, tan of 30 degrees is 1 on root 3. 
sine of 45 is 1 on root 2, which we could write as root 2 on 2. Sometimes I see that in the book. Root 2 on 2, which is the same as 1 on root 2. Tan of 45 is 1. Sine of 60 degrees, or pi on 3, is root 3 on 2. Cos of 60 degrees is a half. Tan of 60 degrees is root 3. Now remember, the sine is my x value. Oh, sorry, sine is my y value. So sine of 90 degrees is 1. Cos of 90 degrees is 0. Tan of 90 degrees is undefined. Sine of 180, well, that's my y coordinate, which is 0. My x coordinate there is negative 1. And that's equal to 0, or 0 over negative 1. 270 degrees, well, sine of 270 is down here, where sine is negative 1, cos is 0, and again, that's undefined. And at 2 pi is back at my starting point, where the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 0, and tan is 0, and back up here at 0, sine is 0, cos is 1. Tan is zero. Copy that out. Put that grid in down. And even if you have that page open with you all the time at this point in time, just so you can remember those exact values. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to use our symmetry properties and these exact values to work out other angles. All right. And this is why. Um, I'll just get that a bit tidier. So what we're thinking, to, what we've got to look about here, so the cost of 150 degrees. So if I come up here where our 150 is, that's 150 there, which makes that angle there 30 degrees. So what we're always doing, okay, is we're going to write every angle as plus or minus either 180 or 0 and 2 pi. So in this case, cos of 150 is the same as 180 degrees minus 30, which from my symmetry properties is just cos 30 degrees. You just now need to work out, okay, is cosine positive or negative in this quadrant here? And cosine is negative here because my x values are negative. So negative cos 30, if I go to my table, Cos of 30 is root 3 on 2. All right. So if I do another one in the middle here, let's pick um, sine of 240. Okay. We're going to treat that as sine of 180 plus 60, not 270 minus 30. It has to be the horizontal axis. So that's equal to sine of 60 degrees. Which quadrant am I in? Well, 240 is down in here where sine is negative. And if I go to my exact values, that's the same as negative. Sine of 60 is also root 3 on 2. All right. If we come over to this one here, 690. Well, 690 is the same as... 720 degrees minus 30. And 720, where's 720? It's there. 720 minus 30 brings me back down here into the fourth quadrant. So that's equal to sine of 30 degrees. Is it positive or negative? Well, sine is negative here. So it's negative sine 30. And sine of 30 is a half, so it's negative a half. All right, so that's our process. 180 plus or minus, all right, or 260, or 360, sorry, 360 or zero plus or minus. All right, if we got it.